Well, we're over a week away from the April 8th solar eclipse, and eye doctors want to make sure that you and your family are safe. So Michael George has the warning from them about protecting your eyes after an increase in eye damage during the last eclipse. It's a rare sight. The total solar eclipse is just days away. And while some will have a better view than others, ophthalmologists warn everyone needs to protect their eyes. The eclipse's rays are extremely dangerous because they're very powerful. Dr. Avnish Deobakta at New York Eye and Ear Infirmary at Mount Sinai treated a patient who watched the 2017 partial solar eclipse for 20 seconds without proper eye protection. These images show how powerful those rays are. You can see here that there's a damage in the shape of a crescent. The patient suffered eclipse retinopathy. The unique case was published in the journal JAMA Ophthalmology. This is the retina. These are the cells that actually still work. And then down here you can see this crescent of loss where the retina does not work. The crescent that is burned into her retina, the patient sees as black in her visual field. That visual deficit that she has will never go away. If you're planning to view the eclipse, it's critical to wear special purpose solar filter glasses labeled ISO 12312-2 compliant. Dr. Deobakta says parents should also be careful because it can be difficult for children to listen or keep the glasses on. You want to actually, in my opinion, kind of avoid them even looking at the eclipse if possible. Never look directly at the sun. Always wear the right eclipse sunglasses if you are going to look at the sun and make sure that those are coming from a reliable source. And don't use binoculars or special lenses to magnify the eclipse. Those devices can focus the sun's rays into the retina and cause damage. Michael George, CBS News. Researchers use new technology to see the damage that patients suffered, and they hope it could help scientists better understand the rare condition and develop future treatments.